Okay, it is Saturday morning. We're at Bayview, and this cute little chameleon here came in with what we thought was over the phone a prolapsed uh, cloaca. Um, turns out it actually is a prolapsed right hemipene. This one here was a little swollen as well, but I, was, I managed to get the sperm plug out, and that's what it looks like right there. So, but on the other side, the sperm plug is gone, but there's a lot of inflammation. So I have taken a sample swab and sampled that area right there. I'm going to put that under the microscope. Let's see if we can find out what's causing this, be it bacterial or a fungal, or, or maybe this guy's just been watching too much porn while dad's out of the house. It's hard to know just yet. But anyway, um, that's what it looks like for now, and uh, we'll get some answers off the microscope. All right, so yucky. Dude, you could go blind. All right, here we have a failed chameleon. This guy called us on an emergency, said he thought it was a prolapsed cloaca. Turns out that it's not a prolapsed cloaca. This is actually the uh, the right hemipene. It was actually much larger than that, but we cleaned it up quite a bit. Dad has actually used some sugar over the past few days to, uh, to get some of the swelling down, which is always a great home remedy. Unfortunately, that's not always the cure because you gotta figure out why. On cytology, we found at least two different types of bacteria in here. One's a small amount of some cocci, and the other one is a uh, large amount of rods. Anyway, this hemipene here had a full, an extremely large um, sperm plug. Got a picture of it as well. Anyway, the mission now is to get this hemipene back in there. And the way this works is, is this hemipene basically is a small sheath that goes into this area here. So it's turned inside out. As the, the hydrostatic pressure behind it comes in, it actually forces the, the, the penis to invert or evert and come out and be this little, uh, this tiny little penis. So in theory, we should be able to find the center hole, push that in there. Okay, we apologize. The surgery was a success, but the camera ran out of uh, ran out of storage. So anyway, there it is. It is in for you guys looking for the how-to on the YouTube channel. Ha ha ha! Screw out of that data one more time. Anyway, uh, so it is in. Uh, basically stuck something into the penis and inverted it and then from there we actually found the hole and uh, put a, lo a local block in there which was done before we inverted it and now it is in. Our buddy here is much more comfortable. He's no longer trying to bite. He's happier. Oh, my penis is back. So, when you see that commercial and it says if you've had an erection lasting more than four days, you need to call your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a lizard and it's only one side, then you definitely need to call a doctor because there's just something wrong. Both, uh, you may get that lucky, <laughs> but one's not good. All right, that's what it looks like for now. Let's get him back to Dad, and we'll recheck in Thursday. Hey, cool. Dude, I'm telling you, if you don't calm down, you could go blind.